I'm Trisha, um, now 85, and I met my beloved when I was well, 77, yeah. I think, October the 5th, 2015, at Formby Hall Golf Club in Formby. And, and I was late. Ian was late, but I waited, spotted him. Mm. And we met on the internet, and I sent a message to Ian, I was the forward one, saying, you sound a very interesting gentleman, and no reply for a week. And being impatient like I am, I sent another message saying, I can't believe you haven't replied. <laughs> In the meantime, I've been walking the Ridgeway, hence so I'm not being derelict. I wasn't uh, ignoring Trish, I just was too tired. Well, uh, Trish was on, as you say, plenty of fish, and I was on one called, I me, mean, I'm more prosaic, I was on one called Older Dating. Older. But, yeah. But we could, <laughs> it's we could my see. toy boy, you know. <laughs> He's only 82. Yeah. <laughs> Giving away my secrets, you know, yeah. <laughs> it just took off from there. We regularly dated for 14 months. And I moved in with Ian, who lived in Preston. Oh, by the way, he wanted somebody that was what distance? Well, I wanted somebody between Blackpool and Preston with no family. And they got, uh, got a lady family. from Formby <laughs> and a family with a cast of thousands. <laughs> well, I was diagnosed as needing a heart bypass operation, so that sort of speeded it up. We had obviously intended to get married, but we were too busy having holidays. And then you tend to think, well, your health's going to last forever. But it was, we got an <laughs> enormous it, shock, didn't we? Yeah. That was on the 11th of December, so Ian had been for, what was, it, what was your procedure called? Well, they just went for a regular... Anyway, oh, yeah, and then they well, told him the worst yeah. on the 11th of December and we came home and he told me the results and then very emotionally he proposed to me. And of course, I've been waiting seven years, so... <laughs> <laughs>